Have you ever wondered why you just can't resist that buy now button? Welcome to the fascinating world of our spending habits and the psychology that drives them. We all know that feeling, the irresistible urge to spend on something we may not necessarily need. But have you ever stopped to consider what's triggering this behavior? Let's start by delving into the common spending triggers. One of the most prevalent is emotional states. Feeling stressed out? Retail therapy might seem like the perfect antidote. Celebrating a promotion? A splurge feels like the perfect reward. Our emotions can be powerful motivators, but they can also lead us astray when it comes to making sound financial decisions. Then, there's social pressure. Ever found yourself overspending just to keep up with the Joneses, or because you're out with friends who are splashing the cash? You're not alone. The fear of missing out or wanting to fit in can often derail our financial goals. Another common culprit is sales tactics. We're all familiar with the allure of a good deal, but just because something is on sale, doesn't mean we need it. Retailers know how to play on our fear of missing out on a bargain, which can lead to impulsive spending. Understanding these triggers is the first step towards gaining control over our spending habits. It's all about self-awareness. By recognizing the situations or emotions that prompt us to spend, we can start to question our impulses. Is this purchase really necessary? Is it aligned with my financial goals? Am I buying this because I truly want it, or am I being influenced by external factors? These are the kind of questions we need to ask ourselves before reaching for our wallets. This isn't about depriving ourselves or living a life of frugality. It's about making informed and intentional decisions about our spending, so we can achieve our financial goals and live life on our own terms. Once you understand your spending triggers, you can start to take control of your financial habits. So the next time you're faced with that buy now button, pause for a moment and consider what's really driving you to click. Budgeting isn't about depriving yourself, it's about understanding your finances. It's about knowing where your money is coming from, where it's going, and how you can optimally allocate it to meet your financial objectives. You see, a clear picture of your income, expenses and savings can be eye-opening, often revealing patterns and habits you might not have been aware of. Creating a budget that works is not about squeezing every penny, but rather about making informed decisions. It's about aligning your spending with your values and goals. Practical tips for creating such a budget include tracking your income and expenses regularly, categorizing your spending, and setting realistic savings goals. Remember, your budget should be flexible, it should account for unexpected expenses, and it should allow for some fun. It's a guiding tool, not a prison. In essence, budgeting is a strategic approach to managing your finances. And a well-planned budget is a powerful tool for financial control. Do you make conscious decisions about where your money goes or do you often wonder where it all went? Let's delve into this, shall we? Mindful spending isn't about cutting out all the fun from your life, it's about understanding the difference between want and need and making choices that align with your financial goals. This practice encourages you to slow down, reflect, and make intentional purchasing decisions. Imagine walking into a store, you see a pair of shoes that you like. Instead of impulsively buying it, you take a moment, you ask yourself, do I need this? Does this align with my financial goals? Can I afford it without straining my budget? This simple pause can help you avoid unnecessary expenses. Remember, every dollar spent mindfully is a step towards financial stability. It's about making your money work for you, not the other way around. Mindful spending transforms your relationship with money, making each purchase a conscious choice. Impulse buying can feel exhilarating in the moment, but it often leads to regret and financial strain. So, how do we resist the siren call of spontaneous purchases? It starts with understanding the why behind the buy. Is it a genuine need or a fleeting desire? Is it a reward for a tough day or a reaction to stress? Recognizing these triggers is the first step in breaking the cycle. But understanding isn't enough. We need practical strategies too. One approach is the cooling off period. Found a must-have item, hold off on buying it for 24 hours. This pause allows emotions to settle and rational thinking to kick in. You might find that the urge to buy has faded or that the item isn't as essential as it initially seemed. Another technique is to picture your long-term financial goals. Imagine that dream house, the retirement fund, or the world trip you've been saving for. Every impulsive purchase diverts funds from these goals. By visualizing what you could lose, it becomes easier to resist the temptation. Also, consider the value of the item in terms of your time. If a new gadget costs the equivalent of two weeks' wages, 
is it truly worth it? This perspective shifts the focus from can I afford this, to is this worth my time and effort? Lastly, don't forget to celebrate your victories. Each time you resist an impulse buy, you're strengthening your financial discipline muscle. It's a journey, not a one-time event. Breaking the impulse buying cycle is a crucial step towards financial stability. And remember, every step you take brings you closer to your financial goals. Don't give up. Without a destination in mind, any road will get you there. This age-old wisdom holds true in the realm of personal finance too. Let's talk about building smart financial goals. Imagine setting out on a journey without a map or a clear endpoint. It's not just about wandering aimlessly, it's about the time, energy and resources you could potentially waste along the way. Similarly, without clear measurable financial goals, your money may end up scattered in various directions, leaving you far from where you want to be financially. Financial goals are more than just wishful thinking. They are specific targets, grounded in reality, that give your money a purpose. They could range from saving for a comfortable retirement to paying off debt or even funding your dream holiday. The key is specificity. Instead of saying, I want to save more, try, I want to save $3,000 for a vacation to Italy next summer. Measurable goals allow you to track your progress and stay motivated. Seeing your savings grow month by month can be incredibly motivating and can help keep your spending habits in check. These goals aren't just about the destination though, they're also about the journey. They provide a roadmap for disciplined spending, ensuring your money is working towards something meaningful. They help you resist the lure of impulsive spending, keeping your focus on the bigger picture. Smart financial goals are your compass towards a secure financial future. With clear goals in sight, you're not just spending money, you're investing in your dreams. Managing your finances is not just about money, it's about gaining control and freedom in your life. We've dived into understanding spending triggers, crafting a budget that aligns with your goals, and embracing mindful spending. We've also discussed breaking free from the impulse buying cycle and the significance of setting smart financial goals. All these elements work in harmony towards a financially stable future. Remember, mastering your finances is a journey. Take one step at a time and you'll be on your way to financial stability.